to Divine Honesty. This is your girl Tierra, and today I'm going to be doing a reading for my me's, my Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius, honey. Miss Neely Links, okay? If you don't like Neely Links, honey, Mr. Jay Z's in the house, okay? Nicki Minaj is in the house, okay? <laughs> the rays of sunshine in the house, okay? Now, if this reading does not resonate, Leave it on the table. If it does, great. Please like, share, and subscribe. Not every element is going to resonate, so just take what just take what does apply to you, and let's get started. So, who are these people that we have on our mind? Who are these people that we're trying to get clarity on what to do and how to get about certain situations, or a brand new perspective, some clarity and guidance? Who are these people? We have the hanged man. So, some of y'all, y'all don't really know or trying to figure someone out. Or you just are just letting things slide. You feel like you just kind of like, fuck it. I'm just, I'm going to let this slide, but I got my eyes on this person. Also, for the hangman, it seems like you're just really not sure of this person. Or you're just letting things flow, okay? You're letting things flow. And you know what? I'm in a new relationship. Well, he thinks we're in a relationship, but I'm telling him to be slow. So, <laughs> but um, I'm just like, you know, let's see. Let's see. So, I can definitely see why this energy is present for me. Okay, so why is the hangman here? <gasps> Damn. Why I got a right, up, right on a parade like that? Damn, we got the three of fucking swords. Wow. So we've been hurt in the past, of course. And sometimes being hurt in the past can hinder us from being so open. Um, and... I'm usually an open person, no matter how the hurt is, but I just don't want to jump in and go full-fledged, meet my kids, meet my mama and stuff like that, <laughs> because I have been hurt before, and I'm seeing that's the same for some of you. You have been hurt. Also, for some of you, this can definitely be something new. This person cheated on you. You don't know if you want to go or stay, or you don't know if this person ever cared about you because of the cheating. Also, if it's not cheating sad, there's some people that was just in your relationship, in your life, giving advice. Being backstabbers, okay? This could be friends, too. Just stabbed you in your back, okay? Was talking shit. You don't really know if you want to. For some of you, I'm saying you don't know if you want to cuss these motherfuckers out or let it go. Let's go ahead and get some clarity. Why are these two fucked up cards here? <laughs> we have the three of wands. So, it's saying definitely move on and let it go. The three of wands represent future. It represents planning out. Focusing on your future, focusing on journeys, it also represents traveling. So here I'm seeing that we're definitely dealing with fire and swords. So we're definitely dealing with fire when it comes to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, swords when it comes to Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. It doesn't have to be. I'm also seeing Pisces and Taurus as well. Okay. It doesn't have to be. And Scorpios. Okay. But what I'm seeing with these cards, um, basically, you don't know how to move past this hurt. Um, whoever hurt you, there's some fucked up people. They're stuck in life, obviously. They got the hangman. And you don't know how to the view it. For some of you, you're coming out of it. You're really trying to understand the biggest part, your biggest purpose from it, and you're moving on. For some of you, you got ghosted, and you're trying to move on, but you're trying to figure out why this person just let you go it's because they were stuck okay they're stuck in life they're used to you in a way you brought them uncomfortable comfort okay and even though you were comfortable for a second okay so it's like i said it's because they were stuck in life you're you're comfortable you're comfortable but that's uncomfortable for them for some of you okay Let's go ahead and get some more clarity into these cards. I mean, goddamn, this motherfucker fucked you up. I mean, now you got to move on. But that's but moving on is new journeys, <clears throat> new insight. You have to remember this is a university. This is universe for a reason. You versus yourself in different reflections, okay? So this is all within you, Sagittarius. Don't forget that. The only person that can hurt you is you. <laughs> so why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Ooh, so you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. Like I said, this is death. So, yeah, this person was trying. They could be trying to, for some of you who did get ghosted pretty quick, um, it's because they, they were putting on a facade 
And since you was like buying the facade, they could not really show their true self. There would be a transformation, okay? They, 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 wanted, they only can go so long. They could have been hiding shit from you. It has nothing to do with you. For some people, what I'm seeing with this death card represents is that you need to get over this heartbreak. I don't care if it was yesterday. It's saying let that shit die because that you were supposed to go through this heartbreak in order to understand your new future, okay? In order to see your vision. That heartbreak caused you to have clearer vision. That's the whole point, okay? If you look at these cards, you can see that on the outsides of these cards, it's all dark, but on the inside, it's clear. It's supposed to clear your focus. Now you know what you want, okay? Now you know what you want. Why is the three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here? See, yeah, we have the three of um, the three of wands again, moving on, letting go, thinking about your future. So now I know this heartbreak, like you, like I was saying before, it can it hinder you on dating again. It's saying don't do that. Take these heartbreaks as take it as red flags. Now this don't have to be heartbreak when it comes to a relationship. It can be. P, um, friends, family, but it's like just take that type of energy that you've noticed and how this person act. Take that into the future as knowing what what and what to deal with and what not. But don't take the hurt into the future. Don't take that hurt into the future because you don't deserve that. This was trying to transform you and to open up new opportunities. Okay, okay. And then why is the three of wands here? We have the tower. Damn. Why they gotta be happening to us like that? I don't like that. So for some of you, you feel like there's no future, there's no hope. This motherfucker hurt you that mm, mm No, they did not. They didn't hurt you like that. There is a future, okay? Um, I know for some of you, I don't know your situations. Um you know, to the T. But what I do know, there is a future. You have the two of the three of wands twice. There is a future. That's going out to someone. You feel like there's no future. There's no hope. There is future. There is hope. This right here is going to transform you. This right here is supposed to transform you, not hold you back. Okay. Take a deep breath and remember who the fuck you are, Sagittarius. Remember who the fuck, I don't care if all the motherfucking eyes against you. I don't care if it's a zero to one in that bitch. You better make that zero a hundred. Okay? Boss up. Yes, you could have made some different choices in life. But you did what you did. Both good and bad. And you are not who you was. You have moved up. Transformed. It's all about growing up. Moving on. Let that hurt go. Let that hurt go, okay? Speak to people in a way that if they die the next day, you will be satisfied with the last thing you said to these motherfuckers. I don't care if it's your worst enemy. Don't hold that energy on. Do not hold that energy on because what you need to be focusing on, Sagittarius, is believing in something so much it has no choice but to materialize. It has no choice but to materialize, okay? Now, if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, I have a Facebook group called Divine Honesty if you like my energy. And I have these other two videos right here for you, um, for your ex and for another video on your sign. So if you like my style of reading and if this resonates, please check out one of these videos for me or check out both of them. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.